What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Review where we take a look at tech, tech tips and how to videos. I've been using this Galaxy S21 Ultra for about two months now and I gotta say, I'm impressed. Last time I had a Galaxy phone was the S5 and it really turned me away from the Galaxy series and back to an iPhone fanboy. But this Galaxy phone has managed to give me everything I wanted in my smartphone with one exception. You can download the Google Assistant and launch it three ways, whether that be opening the app like you would on an iPhone, programming a virtual home button to activate Google Assistant, or you can enable voice match. And they all get the job done, but I always felt like my side button right here was missing its true purpose, and that is to launch Google. On the Galaxy S21 Ultra, you can program the side button to either show you the power restart options or the launch big speed, and that's it. I came across some YouTubers who have figured a way to program it for uh, the Google Assistant instead of big speed, but they either required you to download an app from the personal server, no thank you, or root your device, again, no thank you. I happened to stumble onto a bunch of Samsung tools though that let you do some crazy customization. And the best part is, I was able to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish in less than 5 minutes. So let me show you how. Keep in mind, I only tested this method on a Galaxy S21 and S21 Ultra. I have no idea if this is going to work on a Galaxy S20 or any other Galaxy phone devices out there. If you have a Samsung phone besides the Galaxy S21, you do this hack and it works, let us know in the comment section below. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Play Store and we are going to download the Google Assistant app. Once you have it installed, go ahead and open it and go through the mumble jumble to configure it and make sure that it works. And <laughs> mine works. So after we install the Google Assistant, then we want to go into uh, the Galaxy Store. So go ahead and search for the Galaxy Store. and look for good lock. To find good lock, go ahead and install it. Once good lock installs, go ahead and open good lock and scroll to the bottom till you see routines plus. Go ahead and press it and it'll take you back to the Galaxy Store where you can install it. Once it's installed, go ahead and open back the good lock app and now you should have Routines Plus. So go ahead and press Routine Plus. Just to show you, again, I'm going to long press this button and show you what comes up, which is Bigsby. So now in Routines Plus, we go to Location-Based Quick Access, and you're gonna get something that looks kind of like If This Then That. So under If, there's Button Action. Go ahead and press that. And under Key, we're going to want to select Side. Under interactions, we want press and hold. Go ahead and press done. And for under then, go ahead and press it. Search for assistant. Open assistant. Select it and hit done. To get rid of place, go ahead and hit edit and delete it. Hit next. Now you're gonna name your routine. So we're just going to name it Google Assistant. And give it a nice little icon. Hit done. And that's that. If we go back to our home screen and we long press this button, Google Assistant comes up. What's the weather like tomorrow? there you have it we just officially swapped out Bixby for the Google Assistant without rooting our device without running a homebrew application we were able to change Bixby with the good lock app there's a ton more customization you can do so definitely dive into it if you're big on customizing your Samsung device be sure to read up on what each tool does before jumping into it Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. If you didn't, thumbs down work also. I'll catch you in the next one.
Later.